The Hunter's Bend. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot that I learnt is the Hunter's Bend. And basically it's just another way of joining two ropes together. Now from what I understand with regards to this knot, I've not tried it in the field, so I'm not experienced in this. But if anybody out there has had experience with the Hunter's Bend, then please do let me know. But from what I understand is, it's a fairly secure knot. And it's useful to use if you have two fairly slippery lines that you want to join together. And hopefully, when you've got these joined together and it's a slippery line, no matter what tension you pull on here, it should not come undone. But anyway, I don't know that much about it. But what I will do is, for those of you who are interested, in the description below, I will put some more additional information that I find on this knot. So please do check out the description below if you're interested in more. So anyway, without further ado, I will untie this and then we will get knotting. So let's get knotting and I'll see you on the other side. See you in a sec. OK, I'm not sure if I mentioned at the very beginning, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you two different ways of tying the Hunter's Bend. And the Hunter's Bend is a very useful knot to know because it will allow you to join two cords to, or ropes together. And if they're slippery, this should hold any slippery ropes in place. So anyway, the first thing that I need to do is... Right, so here we have the working end of my yellow, working end of my red. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just take a little bit more through and then pass it underneath, like so, on my red cord. Then with the red cord, I do exactly the same, but the opposite, if you see what I mean. But I'm going to go underneath and then bring it round, like so. And so when I put these in the middle here, this here is, you can't see it just, it's just gone out of picture here, but that is my working end of the red rope. And at the bottom here, that is my working end of my yellow. Now what I'm going to do is just bring those like so a little bit further apart. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to take the working end of my red one and I bring it round, I pass it underneath itself on the there just at this point here pass it underneath itself there and then bring it underneath the yellow cord again so pass that gently through a bit harder to do when you're in front of a camera and bring it out like so so as you can see the cordage now has gone round over itself underneath the red again underneath the yellow and then back over the red at that point and I do exactly the same on the other side I basically take it so that it goes underneath itself there on the yellow then underneath that point there on the red bring it underneath and there we go we now should have our hunter's bend and I can now twiddle it up and tighten it and as you can see here now we have the hunter's bend and now when I pull on that, that is not coming undone. And so there we have it. Perhaps we could, we can also adjust it if we want. If you find that the working ends are just a little bit too long, just pull them through like so, so that you can adjust them and just pull it up. And you can see now we've shortened that one a bit and then we can do exactly the same for the yellow one there. So anyway, that is the hunter's bend one way and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to untie it and show you another way of tying this knot and then you choose which one you prefer and I'm sure there is a third way and if you know of a third way leave me a comment and tell me about it so anyway let me undo this and I'll see you again in a second so the hunter's bend the second way of doing it there's probably more ways if you do know more ways please leave me a comment down below so I can see another way of actually tying this knot. But personally, I prefer this method because it's just that little bit easier to do. As you can see here, there's my working end on the right hand side for my yellow one and the working end on my red one is on the left hand side there. And I'm just pulling a little bit through there because I need that 
to actually tie the knot itself. So the next thing I do is, now that I have brought them together like so, all I'm going to do is form a loop in there like so. And so as you can see now, I have formed a loop at this point here. And you can see here now that my working end of the yellow one is at the bottom and the working end of my red one is on top of the pile. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red one and bring it round underneath and so it comes up through that hole there. So if I show you that again, so basically it's going to go, whoops, it's going to go round underneath those two here and then come out through that hole. So bring that round underneath and come up through the hole. Now with the yellow one here, we're going to do exactly the opposite. We're going to bring it round and down through the hole. So it does exactly the opposite as the one previous. And then once you've done that, gently pull up and it looks a mess to start with, but gradually as you pull up, pull up on all the ends and eventually all of a sudden it will fall into place and you can see it's starting to shape up there. Just tease it gently into shape. There it goes. Pull it and there we go. And you can, what you're looking for is two nice parallel lines there and you've got these two loops at either side of it. And you can see on the other side you've got the two parallel lines there and that's what you're looking for. So just make sure it's not tangled as you do the process and then as you pull this up tight it will not come undone even if it is on a slippery rope. So there we have we have the Hunter's Bend. So once again, thanks if you liked it, if you hated it, thanks very much for watching. But please do leave me comments below and do tell me if you've ever used this knot in anger because I always love to hear when people tell me stories about knots that they've actually used. So anyway, once again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.